Maybe you should order the special. I'll have the special. The specials are kept in the bag. Your food choice usually depends on the mood you're in, how hungry you are, and how much money you're willing to spend on five minutes of pure satisfaction. The menus are simply now suggestions, but if you're in the mood for something different and have the guts to give a secret menu a go, this list is sure to make you get up and hit the next drive through So buckle up for the 10 most popular fast food secret menu items. The Mediterranean wrap is people! Wendy's Meat Cube or Grand Slam. You know nothing, Mr. Bond. The meat usage on this bad boy seems a bit excessive for the average person, but for that 3 a.m. hunger after bar crawls, or when you feel like taking a big nap but aren't tired, this one's for you. Let's get real here. Fast food is normally consumed between 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. on your way home after having way too many tequila shots. All you want to do is climb into the taxi and ask him to stop at the nearest drive through so you can shovel back the greasiest thing you can order without slurring too much. Steve Madden. <laughs> Meat Cube and Grand Slam are both words that can be easily communicated through a speaker. Picture this, four beef patties, not round because it's Wendy's, hence the name Cube, smothered between your favorite condiments, two perfectly cooked pieces of your favorite food group, bacon, layered in cheese, let's be honest here, everything with cheese is going to be good, and smashed between two carb-loaded buns. My caution to you is to grab that burger from top to bottom and own it because it's huge. And to avoid losing half of it, you really need to be confident about how you're holding it. Go in hungry and go in with plenty of confidence. You might need to extend your lunch break, call a friend, or leave half for the cabbie who got you home safely. If you're still feeling hungry after this, try to add another patty next time. I'm not encouraging you to, but Mr. Dave Thomas wouldn't say no. If you live to talk about it, you'll be a true legend. There you have it. The meat cube! Burger King Suicide Burger. Well, that's suicide. This one stacks up closely to the meat cube, layered with four meat patties, round ones though, four slices of cheese, bacon, and loaded with BK's special sauce. It's no wonder they call it the suicide burger. If you can make it out of this one without feeling any regret or running towards the nearest bathroom, then congratulations. You've survived this savage creation of a meal. It makes us wonder what kind of person would order this. Perhaps you like to live on the edge and crave more action in your life. I'd like to assume that you're the type who goes bungee jumping on a random Sunday because you're bored, or you like to wait five minutes before a store closes to do your shopping. It's no wonder BK doesn't serve it on their regular menu. If you're brave enough to order it, you can literally do anything in life. Be proud of yourself for accomplishing what most people can't or don't want to. Perhaps reflect on your life choices after consuming this $5 savory wonder of a monstrosity. Good luck out there. Your mission, should you choose to accept Five Guys Veggie Burgers. It's your vegetables, Gordon, come on! You're never alone when you've got five guys in your realm of food choices. From their savory, meaty choices to their fresh-cut fries and even barrels of peanuts, Five Guys has something for literally everyone, unless you're allergic to peanuts. They're a fan favorite for delivering some of the best burgers and fries. The menu is simple and fresh, but it's no secret that they have veggie burgers for the vegetarians and vegans out there. This trendy treat is sure to treat your palate like a regular meaty burger. Actually, before you rush out and expect a patty made out of quinoa or black beans, you might want to reroute your adventure. What time is it? Time for you to shut up! Don't expect a patty of anything to complement the veggies they serve up in between the bun. It's important to note here that when you ask for a veggie burger, you are literally getting grilled up veggies in between two buns. For the meat eaters, this burger serves well as a side, but not if you're on the hunt for a hearty meal. But if veggies are your thing and you'd rather skip the patty, then hey, this one's for you. The biggest concern though is the name. If the name says burger, please produce that greasy, meaty goodness between the bun, or at least a patty that looks that way, Five Guys, you do burgers very well. Stick to that. I'll be back. McDonald's McGangbang. 
This ain't some elaborate setup for a gangbang. Yes, you heard that right. The Mick Gangbang. This is not a joke. It's an actual creation that we want you to try if that's your kind of thing. Go all in or don't go at all. This one brings some controversy over the name, of course. Some find it offensive. But admittedly, the name does make you intrigued. Unfortunately, this concoction isn't actually anything all that interesting. This is simply just two of their best burgers combined to make you feel like you've committed a crime. People are calling it the crime of the century and stuff like that. But we all know and love the double cheeseburger and McChicken. Both satisfy your hunger alone or one after the other. But when you combine the two loves, you've just created a McGangbang. Depending on where you live in the world, you can actually order the McGangbang and the employee will know what you're talking about. But uh, maybe play it safe and just order up the two individually and slap them inside each other and poof. You've got yourself a monstrous meal without asking an unsuspecting employee for something that might get you slapped. We all love a good cheeseburger and a chicken burger. Why not smash them together and create something beautiful for your insides to hate you for later? Your taste buds will sure thank you for it. So let's recap. It's not the actual burger that's offensive, it's the name that people call it. And let's be honest, McDonald's didn't invent this, the general public did. Fast food restaurants in general didn't invent secret menus. The people who eat there did. Call it whatever you want, with caution, and just keep eating the burgers and enjoy. My name is Pussy Galore. Arby's Meat Mountain. Arby's, we have the meat. For sandwiches. Let's talk about where you are in your life right now. Do you really need this in your life? Probably not, but why not cram every piece of meat in your mouth at once just for fun anyway? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Multiple entendre. Arby's is already known for their tasty loaded meat sandwich, so how could you possibly add more meat? They found a way, but only those who have seen the promo piece will ever get to experience it. They pretty much combined all of the meat they ever use and pile it on top of each other, hence the name. This started just as a promotional piece to showcase all the meat they use for their sandwiches, but when customers caught wind of it, people started to order it, and Arby's had to produce it. It. Might as well give the people what they want. Just imagine two of their chicken tenders, a couple slices of roast turkey, pit smoked ham, some corned beef, Angus steak, a 13 hour smoked brisket, roast beef, and pepper bacon squished between some bread and cheese. How does that sound? This is blasphemy. This is madness. Probably like you need to head down to your nearest Arby's and give it a whirl. The steak and chicken tender combination is enticing enough to make one's mouth water. The plus side of this is you could order this sweet mashup of a meal and save some for your next 17 meals. Just think of it this way, the meat mountain would save you money and could be used for your weekly meal prep plan. Just separate each meat and create your own fun. Make a salad, a burrito, heck, you could blend it if you just had dental surgery. My only advice before eating this would be to consult with your doctor first. I'm a doctor, not a performer. I don't have time for such nonsense. Double down it at KFC. You counting carbs? Yes. Maybe you've even given up eating bread? Whether you're watching your carb intake or trying to take in as much protein as you can, if you ask the folks at KFC to double down your sandwich order, don't expect to see a bun to hold it together. Double down literally means throwing away the bun and replacing it with their famous fried chicken. In between that chicken delight is your bacon, cheese, onions, and whatever else you feel like jamming in there. And if you're a real risk taker, you could go the extra mile and ask them to triple down. I also like to live dangerous. It seems as though KFC will create whatever concoction you wish to try. Whether it's doubling down or smothering just about anything in gravy or mashed potatoes, KFC won't say no. As long as their fried chicken is included. Sure, let's pretend that a piece of chicken is replacing bread and call it normal. If chicken and waffles can make it work, so can an item like this. Why not smother it in their famous gravy too? KFC does a good job of producing a good, filling meal. If you can finish the whole thing. So have fun with how you want to make it your own. When you get to KFC, before you make your order, the only question you have to ask yourself is, do you want bread or chicken to hold your burger together? That will be the true tale of how the rest of your day will go. Ooh, loneliness and cheeseburgers are a dangerous mix. In-N-Out Burger Animal Style Fries. 
in and out truck's coming in 10 minutes. in and out Burger isn't about making their menu complicated. They have very few items on the menu, so it's up to you to complicate it and add to it. If you're on the hunt for something more filling than what the menu offers, ask for your fries animal style. He has mastered the five animal styles of Shaolin. These fries are sure to wake up your insides. Your regular, yet delicious on their own, fries are jazzed up with cheese, grilled onions, and topped with their famous secret sauce, Thousand Island dressing. Make sure you're hungry and ready to dive in. Don't let it sit and get soggy. You'll miss the whole experience. You'll have plenty of time to sit back after and regret some of the choices you may have made in life, but this likely won't be one of them. This cheesy, loaded goodness pairs well with Mondays and your favorite reality TV show that no one knows you watch because you're ashamed to admit it. And yes, you can also do this to any burger on the menu. You're welcome. Because it's kind of like an urban myth isn't it all the things you can order taco bell's dorito shell welcome to your new taco ask for it and taco bell shall make all your dreams come true doritos are a meal in itself who's with me here so why not combine the crunchy goodness of a good chip and a true mexican delight when you wrap something good inside something even better you'll get this delicious creation who wouldn't love a good dorito shell to jam all your favorite fixings in taco bell leveled up their taco game when they paired up with doritos though really if you pair anything with doritos you're in for a good time i don't know what's going on Tacos were pretty incredible before Doritos entered the mix, but they really took it up a notch. If you're extra risky, you'll ask for the fiery Dorito. One day you're eating tacos and living a mediocre life, and the next you're experiencing taco nirvana. Just think how much better your life got now that you know this information. Wow! How does it feel good to be out of there? McDonald's Land, Sea, and Air Burger. If you can find a greasier sandwich, you're in Mexico. Think of the most popular items on the McDonald's menu and imagine them piled together because, well, why not? That's right, folks. Combine the almighty Big Mac, filet fish and savory McChicken, and you'll get the Land, Sea, and Air Burger. This has clogged arteries written all over it, and I wouldn't even recommend this option to my worst enemy. Take him to Detroit. No! No, not Detroit! But if you have nothing better to do, shove all these down or give it your best try and enjoy the delicious pieces that each sandwich has to deliver. In order to enjoy this one, you'll need to love each sandwich separately. If you're willing to put the effort in to put all three together, buckle up and enjoy the ride. Feeling extra gluttonous? Add fries and a big, tall drink. I, I feel like my stomach's gonna explode. I know. Shake Shack Peanut Butter Bacon Burger. He was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people leader. Okay, Shake Shack, let's not get crazy here. Who decided that peanut butter would be a good idea on a burger? Sure, peanut butter goes great on toast, bananas, thanks Elvis, and by itself, but on a burger? Perhaps it's the combination of sweetness and saltiness that just makes it anticipate. Perfect? This one really caught our attention because of the way each word makes your soul and stomach feel. Peanut butter? Check. Bacon? Check. I mean, bacon is good on literally everything. Burger? Check. A good option for all carnivores. If you don't like all three of these, shh, keep it to yourself. None of us need that kind of negativity in our lives. Done. One note about this unique burger is that the peanut butter is a sauce, not a spread. Upon opening the burger bun, you would drown the burger in the sauce, close it up, and prepare for the greatest experience in your mouth. The idea that this combination would even be remotely good is odd, but if you can call a veggie burger a burger without an actual patty, then heck, you can put peanut butter and bacon together and call it something worth trying. This one is for the people who like to live on the edge, like pineapple on pizza, and think it's a acceptable to sleep until noon. Give it a whirl and let your taste buds dance around. See you at the party, Richter. Help yourself to seconds and tap that screen for our next great video. Checking us out for the first time? Then show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.